Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you guys? I really missed you. Today, inshallah, we're gonna speak about yeah, an assignment we know about one of the most important lessons ever. Yeah, yeah we got you. Okay, just start. Wait, okay. okay. Wait. <clears throat> Today, inshallah, we're gonna speak about one of the most important lessons, which is Greek and Latin word parts. Sometimes we meet the part meter in a word, or the part therm, or od, or fac. Didn't you just wonder about the meaning of these parts? Today's lesson is going to add a lot of information to you concerning this part. Stay tuned. There is a language that is called the Greek language the greek language and another language that is called the latin language both languages did something good they had a great effect on english this is something that nobody can deny some english words have parts that come from greek and latin languages and that's why it's important for some scientists and linguists to study both of them, I mean Greek and Latin languages. From the Greek language, English has taken the part therm that means heat, and it has also taken the part meter which means measure. From the Latin language that comes dumping to us, English has taken the part ode which means hear, and another part that is called fac which means to do or to make. What does this have to do to our lesson today? It has to do a lot of things. Today's lesson is going to be found in page 327. It has the same title, which is Greek and Latin word parts, meter, therm, ode, and fact. It has a presentation about the same thing that we have talked about just before a minute, which is that the words in the box each have a part that comes from Greek or Latin. In Greek, therm means heat and meter means measure. In Latin, and ode means to hear and fac means to make or to do. We have here some words that we're gonna use in the eight sentences below. The words are as follow. Thermometer. Thermometer. Barometer, barometer, audible, audible, manufacture, manufacture, thermal, thermal, chronometer, chronometer, audience, audience, factory, factory. We want to use these words in the sentences below as I have told you. So let's read the first three sentences together and try to find the answer with me. Number one. When the concert ended, the orchestra stood and bowed to the... To the... I can hear somebody here who's saying audience. Yes, exactly. When the concert ended, the orchestra stood and bowed to the audience. Amazing! This is just perfect. Number two. The captain used the... To help determine the ship's time of departure. What is this? It seems like the captain has used something that enables him to know the time of departure. The time of departure? Ah, it means the time that the ship is going to leave at. Okay. A chronometer? Yeah, a chronometer. It's a tool that enables the captain to have an accurate time of departure and stuff. Number three, the automobile plant will... Mm, cars. The automobile plant will... Cars. Mm, will produce cars, will make cars, will have cars what did we say about the part fact means to do or to make ah so maybe it's manufacture 
Okay, the automobile plant will manufacture cars. That's amazing. This means that you guys will have to answer sentences from 4 to 8. I think by answering the first three sentences, I have made the task way easy for you. And you know the way I end my videos. Do your best, make me proud of you, and... That's right, stay safe.